Folks, I've been feeling the urge, the urge to splurge on Easter, right here on my take on Home and Garden. Guys, come decorate with me. Finally, getting to decorate the living room for Easter. Check it out now. I'm bringing the first arrangement in the living room. Now you've seen most of the arrangements in the arrangement video. This one I've selected because of its upright nature and it fits right in here. We'll move the candelabra a little bit, maybe the lamp just a touch. Now what's funny, and this never happens, I mean I use that cute vase at Christmas time in that spot. And it's not intentional. You know we have different ones. <laughs> but just that particular one I see right there. Okay guys, so this is one you didn't get to see me put together, but you're gonna see it now. And we have peony, incredible two, three tones. We got cream colored hydrangea. Okay, so that's this bouquet I've selected for that spot on that end table. Now I had to move the Hollywood Regency fruit bowl. So I'm going to put that over here on the column and I just think it really works. Can't have an empty spot, you know that. I'm thinking the fat bunny. Too cute, right? We're gonna just move for now. We're gonna move that milk glass candy dish and we're gonna replace it with this too cute ceramic basket for Easter. Now, he's guarding that to keep the kids out of it, <laughs> right, I would think. Now you'll remember this one. It's out of the box, all right. It's real different, even for me. But I gotta tell you, everybody keeps commenting on it and it is just gorgeous. Would you think to put those colors together? Let me know, because I think it really works. I like a floor vase there because it's kind of naked with just those legs and nothing there. So I always like something in this spot. So another happy floor vase right here in this spot because to me again it's just bare, boring and has no function other than to have that floor vase. Alrighty and of course here we have white poppies, white gladiola, we have violet wisteria and kind of a crimson poppy also in this arrangement. Now I'm thinking we need a vintage little planter bunny on that table to complement that. Alrighty guys, now we have our Italian crystal vase with one of my favorite all-time white poppies 
with the violet beard inside with the Queen Anne's lace and what? The Scottish thistle. What a cute combo. <laughs> wow. And then I think I wanted this gorgeous EAPG vintage crystal basket with the ranunculus and the lavender timothy, the baby's breath, and the sweet clover. And I think we got a little more to do here. I'm thinking bunny family would be pretty good up here. Too good. <laughs> now would somebody possibly put this beautiful blue and white picture with the tulips here? In this place, let's see how that looks. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, would anyone take a milk glass Easter basket and put it on the same table? <laughs> Maybe. Let's try it. So we've lightened up our table a bit. And I think I'm really liking that. Back them up a little bit. Because it's all about what's going on for Easter right now. Now friends, remember too, if you're just finding our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you won't miss any of the fun right here on my take on home and garden and by all means check out that new line of spring and summer my take on home and garden mugs t-shirts and so on they're really cute i know you'll want one check it out guys and that link is in the description box you know what I just thought of? I'm going to have to take you and show you all around.
So folks, if you liked our Decorate the Living Room for Easter with me today, let us know in the comments. Blessings and prayers to all. And take care. And we'll see you in the next Over the Top Extreme Decor video.